on, let me be Kane. You're always Kane. I am always Kane, bitch. That's right. Stop complaining. And this shit is raw. Man, I tried doing like cinema verite and all that. It just doesn't work. I can do way better than this. I took film in high school. You took film in high school? Damn straight. You can't do better than this. Oh, you want to see? Yeah, I want to see. All right, let's do it. Fuck it. All right, so you, sorry, so Yoko Chan has been kidnapped by the triad. Right. And you, you're, that's your motivation, right. and you need to go save her, all right? I'm going to get that shit. All right, all right, so hold on. Let me get the cinema verite mode going here. All right. What are you doing? I'm over, hey, I'm over here. Come on. What are you doing? Get back. This, Follow me. This is important. No. We got we to establish a shot. No. You're, you're, that's right. a junkyard cat. Ready? All right, All right. Ready? Ready to actually do the action? Okay. All right, here we go. What you, hey, 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 hey. Stick what? with me. Stick with me. All right, ready? No, you don't understand. This is all important, what we're doing. We're capturing B-roll footage. You are an art snob. Yoko-chan has been kidnapped by the triad, yep. and you need to go rescue her by killing a bunch of dudes. Done. All right. All right, here we go. Action! Go! You gotta follow me. That's it's the whole game. Like you gotta see what I'm doing because it's fucking awesome. All right, dude, come, get, hey, hey, what? Right this here. is all important, man. Hold I'm getting the art. Still, you don't understand. All right, all right, all right. You're, you're gonna go and attack them right in the shed. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. What? I killed like four dudes with headshots. You gotta stay in frame, man. You gotta fuck. You're the cameraman. Are you kidding me? Dude, you don't understand, man. Like, I have the high school film diploma. You don't. Oh, my God. All right, all right. Next scene. Are you ready for your big stunt? Oh, dude, I'm so All right, ready. so here's what I need you to do. Okay, see that table over there? Yeah. I need you to jump over and then do a huge dive right into all that wood shit over there. Got it. All right? Wait, is that going to hurt? No, it'll be fine. Okay. And anyway, we don't need a stuntman for this at all. All right, You're the all right, cool. all right are you ready? Okay. All right. All right. Go. Oh. Oh, oh, so oh, beautiful. Oh. What, did you get it? Uh, actually, I didn't, but I got this awesome footage of this lemon over here. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Look at this. I've got splinters up and down my arm. I'm bleeding in my back, and you can't even pay attention for three seconds to do this shot? Have you seen the lemon? Oh, my... That's it. That's it. You know what? I'm fucking done with you. Oh, that's right. Who's the ninja now, bitch? Ninjas don't use guns! Hello and welcome back. This is episode 199 of Noob Tube. What more? That's right. A weekly independent podcast where uh, Tobin was very angry at me for some reason. Maybe if you fucking hold the camera still instead of being some arty... Once we get our Oscar. That's true. You know? I would like to thank the Oscar. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, weekly independent podcast, and I'm Yuzo Watanabe. And I'm Tobin Gozire, and this week we are talking about Kana Lynch 2, Dog Days, Earthward and Jim HD, Monday Night Combat, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World the video versus game. Good Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> versus my free time, which I would like back. Yeah. Um, yes, and our new releases include... My Mafia 2, uh, Elemental War of Magic, Shank, Shank, and uh, Ivy the Kiwi. Nice. From the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hell yeah. But uh, so, let's get started with, um, I believe... Let's get started with Kill booze. So, oh, hey. uh, so today we decided to go for a very fancy beer. This is called Allagash. Yep. And it is aged in oak bourbon barrels. Wow, it looks like in a big bottle, just like wine comes in. That's right, that's right. Um, and it's about as strong as wine, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, Belgians uh, are, uh, are known for their uh, strong beer. It is, it, is, uh, it is awesome. So I suggest you guys... Branch out in your beers. That's it is right. delicious. Bing! Oh my god. That god is, damn! Whew, I mm. think this is all I'm going to be having tonight if I want to drive oh, home safe. Oh, oh. <sighs> god, Allagash is good. Okay, yes, so. That was tasty. Um, Kanan Lynch. Kanan Lynch. So you've been tweeting the hell out of this game. Like, I love this game. This I game's have? so awesome. I like, have so. Like, thanks for ruining the surprise. I was going to do a little saying, build up. Oh, sorry. I was going to do a little build up, but now it's all gone. So. <laughs> well, I already hated it. I mean, yeah, it's it all was just terrible. a, a ruse. It's terrible. But I mean, like, so, so Kane Lynch won. 
We, if you go back and watch our review, what, what year? Like, I think it was the nineties or something way back. In the it day, wasn't right? the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was last year, so it's not even two years ago, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's true. Um, so I was. So we hated it. It was just oh, like we hated terrible. the characters. We hated the gameplay. We hated like the writing was terrible. The the pacing, the look uh, of it, the blah blah. blah. It's like so. <laughs> this was coming out, and we're like, oh, Cain Lynch too. Like, well, we'll I don't it. know about it. Somebody, what did somebody say? It's just something about grandma killers like somebody quoted one of our quotes about it and how bad it was and there's uh, some sort of something with grandmas well it. yeah because i mean the guys um, were just dicks they were just like these horrible criminal cocks yeah and they just ran around you never really felt any identification with them and no. it was just it was whatever it was a in bullshit the, and game. the gameplay was terrible it was yeah. like third person combat i remember it was distinctly like you would go to this airport and i'd be just like running around picking up random shit it was, it, oh, it was yeah really it, felt, it felt like second life yep uh so this one came out and who knew? Who knew? Like, I sat down, like, meh, whatever. And then, so what happens is you hop in the game, and it's got a very, it's got a camera work, and it's got a look and feel like nothing I've ever seen before. And, and that's what I, I gotta give, like, all this other stuff aside, yeah. the art style of this game is something, like, amazing. Yeah. Like, I really haven't seen it before. So, um, to, to me, it, it felt, I mean, like, so the first, the first, like, five or ten minutes, I was going through, and the camera was shaking, yeah. and, like, TV was glinting off the screen, and they had some, stuff. like, weird lens flare action. Yeah, though. lens yeah. flare, and, and, and you know, light, uh, like, uh, rain landing on the uh-huh. lens and like when you get hit it actually blurs and pixelates like yeah. it's all these weird things it and feels like I actually got hurt as exactly. opposed to like you know red tinge here red tinge here yeah. it's just like holy shit I need to find some cover but at first um, I was playing I was just like what what is this shit like there was a couple <laughs> minutes where I was just like this is annoying it's really? all fake whatever and then there was this point like maybe five or ten minutes in my yeah. brain clicked what was uh, the click point for you I know what it was I, for me. <laughs> well, I, I, I feel like I feel like the the thing that clicked with me was was when uh, I was running through some sweatshop. Yeah. And there was just like people ducking under tables, yep. and I was going through, and there was gunfire, and there was shit breaking, and I could shoot TVs and stuff. And all mm-hmm. of a sudden, it went from like, oh, this is some annoying fake, you know, constructed viewpoint. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm there. I am. It drew you right, in right there. there. <laughs> you know what it was for me? What? It was something that actually took me out of it, where I was just like, well, I was playing, I'm just like, yeah, okay, this is kind of neat, I can kind of see what they're going for, like, it's like, like I, re- I reckoned it to the first time I watched The Shield, I don't know if you saw that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The series is just like, where it's just like, holy shit, what's going on, because the camera's moving all over the place, and they're like, yeah, it's kind of neat. The moment you find the guy with the girl, oh. and she's pixelated, because her, or actually her bottom half is pixelated, yeah. I saw that, and I'm like... I feel like I'm watching the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's just like something. It's like it did take me out of the element, but also like drew me back in, saying like, right. "This feels authentic." Because if it was like some you know boobs hanging out, it's just like, "Oh, every game does this at this right. point, right?" This is different. But in a, it, yeah, exactly. Because in a way, it, to me, it felt like some scenes from Natural Born Killers or something, yeah. where Robert Downey Jr. is embedded and he's following these killers through throughout what's happening, but mm-hmm. he's at risk, right? Like he is yep. in the world and shit's happening, and like you know they're they're blurring it out because maybe they're streaming it live on TV. <laughs> Somewhere. I mean, that's yeah. kind of the feel you get is yeah. like this is some some rendition of what happened that they're yeah. showing to people, and it gives that feeling of authenticity, which I which I think is missing in a lot of games, yeah. right? Like I'm I'm doing it, and I'm like shooting, and you see when you headshot somebody, it's like that's so gruesome, mm-hmm. which you know every other game would do it, right? Because when you're in Greaters of War, you're chainsawing people, oh, all sure. that, it's really cool. But for some reason, it's just like the, the act of doing that, or are you shooting a dog? And anytime yeah. you shoot a dog, it's like blur. Yeah, it's yeah it like, blurs out. I'm just like, wow. I, yeah. I I don't know. It just got me. It did. Um, it absolutely got me. I mean, like there, there were these moments, and, and that's the thing is is what I remember. Like I've beaten the game already. I, I I could not stop playing. I'm gonna tell you guys wow. right now. I absolutely couldn't put the controller down. Mm-hmm. And there were these moments where one of my favorite movies of all time is Blade Runner. Yeah. And you're you're running through the streets of Shanghai, and and it's raining, and there's <laughs> neon skyscrapers in the distance, and people are shooting at you, and there's like you know Asian people screaming and running yeah. out of the way, and you're diving over shit, and things are exploding. I was just like. I'm in one of my favorite movies. I'm living one of my favorite movies. You just weren't chasing a replicate. That, that, I maybe I was. Who in knows? My head, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I was <laughs> just, just like that. She's a fucking replicate. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Get her. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. It's just like they they did their action sequences. They did their set pieces like perfect. That you really do feel drawn in. Like all sorts of shits going on. Yeah. However. Yeah. So I have some complaints about the right. gameplay. So the gameplay. I, and I, granted, I did not play as long as you, but like it, a lot of the gameplay elements turned into get cover. And play whack a mole for a little while, mm. right? Because like you do it, you sit there, and then everybody would be behind behind cover, and usually you wouldn't always have a weapon that can shoot far away, right? So you either have to like walk closer, or just kind of ping, pling, pling, and just yeah. do this cover. And it's just like, that kind of got annoying to me after a mm. while. Now they did start mixing things up with the AI because I noticed the AI is actually 
a lot smarter than it I've is. seen other AI. It's reactive. It's actually always oh, trying, to, trying to get around you. And maybe it gets harder later, but it's like yeah. initially, like I'd be doing it, like, oh, somebody's flanking me. I'm like, wow, that's really interesting, and I yeah. go and kill him. But it didn't happen enough for me, right? Mm. It was just like, okay, pling, 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 pling. Yeah. And that kind of brought me back into reality again and mm. just took it away. I mean, and granted, everything in between, all of the voice acting was really awesome. Yeah. The style is awesome. The set pieces, like, there's a couple of things like where I had to kill like a, a Jeep, a, a van before I was leaving. It's like, oh, crap. But everybody's coming after me, so I yeah. had this, this blood pumping sensation. Yeah. But... Uh, you know what I mean? It's just like it so, seems like the core element is whack-a-mole. Well, so so um, I, I know I know what you're saying, but the the way that I I mean maybe like maybe having played it for hours, I started to kind of get in the heads of the designers where I want I saw how they wanted me to play the levels mm-hmm. because what I ended up doing was I I didn't get stuck in whack-a-mole very often because if they were far enough that I couldn't shoot them, like you try to would be going off one way, and and I was always moving, like always, always, always moving. Mm, so interesting. Okay. And you start to realize that the game, like Kane, will start telling you shit. Like he's just like he's like, you take the left, I'll take the right. You know, he'll, they start to kind of. I think huh. I think that one of the major major game mechanics of this is flanking. Like they always want you to oh, be getting better positions yep. on people because for once in a goddamn game, <laughs> your coho or your co whatever your 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 teammate yeah. is good. He no, he's been killing people. I'm like, "Wait, I'm I'm about to kill this guy." Yeah. I'm like, "Clunk." So you actually like, flush yeah. them out. Like if you're just even if even if you're doing something stupid where you yeah. kind of run out and you're going to get hurt real bad by running into cover, what happens is you start getting around people, they start to try and kill you. All of a sudden, from behind, their fucking head explodes, <laughs> right? Like Kane is actually really good. So he is on the ball and he is not just sitting in one place, like he'll flank too. So you guys go and you're kind of like surrounding enemies. So and like you think that's what the up. gameplay turns into after yeah. a certain point? Because like when I was playing, like number one, definitely if you do not use cover, you die. Mm-hmm. Like I would be going, I'd be like, oh, there's a guy over here. <laughs> die, right? Because yep. he have a shotgun and kill yep. me in one hit. Oh, I, so, tr- I tried to run straight in at oh, first yeah. like I do in every game, right? I'm just like, da 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 blap, da 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 blap. Oh, wait. My reaction then was, oh, let me hide behind here and then do this. So maybe there's that other element. And and usually they they do that, right? They say, like, okay, let me introduce these interesting gameplay elements by having the levels be different further along. I mean, I haven't gone there yet. But, I mean, really, like, seriously, like, playing, playing is, like, this game. It's, like, it's kind of getting boring because it's the same kind of stuff. So I think think Um, you you, you might want to try and, like, mix it up and get more aggressive in terms of flanking because what happens is you'll find these things where you'll be up against a pillar and then up the next pillar up you see a, a, a fire extinguisher and you go up and you grab uh, yes. that and toss it into the guys and, and shoot it and explode. I was playing this game and I'm like man I wish I had grenades <laughs> like seriously this is the one game where I'm like I see you yep. I can't shoot you yep. and then and then once I found the fire extinguishers I'm like huh but yep. then I noticed like they didn't I don't know if it's just the range of it or something like that like it hardly ever kill anybody Oh wow! I was for me. yeah. I mean, uh, like I was, I was killing. Were you doing it based off the timing of when you'd actually yeah, shoot? Yeah, like okay. I would, I would toss it and let it kind of bounce into their area and then like then pull shoot. it up. And then can you always shoot it no matter what? Uh, for a couple it, seconds. Like if it goes, okay. by, I mean, it's smart. If it goes behind a crate, you can't shoot it anymore. So it's okay. Gotcha. But the, I mean, huh. so I, I think that what happened is I just I completely got into the zone where there's the it's game, unusual for you for like these sorts of combat stuff, right? But I mean, like, it's I mean huh. to me this is this is kind of like an like an uncharted or a whatever. I mean, like it was it was story, it was immersive, and the battle <laughs> stuff. Once I started getting into it, mm-hmm. it felt like genius to me. Like there was huh. there was these moments where you know I'm not going to give away plot elements, but I mean like a helicopter crashes into a building mm-hmm. and you run and kill the soldiers in the helicopter, and then you're inside the helicopter and other soldiers are coming in. They're like coming downstairs and you're getting behind the, crates and dude, like, the set pieces in this game are it's freaking epic. impressive. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a level of Uncharted. I mean, it's not like where buildings are, at least to me, at least what I've seen so mm. far. It's not where you're in a building fighting people and the building is collapsing. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. Like it's that not like was that. A, that was the thing where I got these chills. Like yeah. I haven't gotten that in this game, but it, it's really to me the the reason to play this game for me is like being able to see the style that they have. Yes. This this feels like such a polished game. Right. Um, overall, which you look at the original Kane and Lynch, like it oh. wasn't at all. Oh, so, I mean, this is, this is a, this is Assassin's Creed one to Assassin's Creed two level of yes. of improvement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, th- there's these moments that, 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 that like, that this one thing that just absolutely stuck with me when I, I, I remember vividly thinking I was running and, and these dudes had cut me up with knives and yeah. taken my clothes. So I'm running around absolutely naked. Like it's just me with like a little sensor bar. I'm in the rain and I'm, <laughs> I'm bleeding and I'm, I'm screaming and I'm, you know, I'm fighting these people and everybody's coming out and there's like neon glinting everywhere. I'm just sitting there watching the screen. I was like, 
this is one of the coolest gaming moments I've ever seen. Like it was wow. just it was it, it totally totally grabbed me. And, and what was it? I mean, is it just the style? Is yes. it about like yeah? Okay, so it's yeah. Like, I mean, it's the style, and and I I mean, un, you know, like you you're not liking the combat as much, but I mean, yeah. for me, and there's a I lot actually, of it. Right? Yeah, I mean, I mean it, that's that's all it is. There's no puzzle solving. No. There's no, I mean, this it is you absolutely... go to point A to point B in pretty much every yeah. mission, and that's the thing that also I think is it probably a slight negative on this is that. There's a story, but it's really confusing and convoluted, right? They, they don't they don't give you transitions really. It's just mm. like, okay, I'm going and I killed somebody, and then now I'm, some people are mad at me, and I'm like, <laughs> right? It's just like okay, and then I'm escorting some dude, yeah. And like I, I didn't really get why, because and they have these interstitials, right? Every between every loading, it's like buffering, which I yeah. thought was interesting. Is, yeah, right? but they have these calls, like somebody calling somebody. I'm right. like. I'm kind of following along, but it's just like, you know what happened? What you is were it? sitting there taking care of Hanzo. Yeah. <laughs> you were taking care of your kid, and you weren't following the story. Maybe I wasn't. Because seriously, think- I would be playing, and he'd be like, here, right? And I'd be like, bam, bam, bam. And I'd be like, wham. And I'm like, pause. <laughs> for half an hour I'm telling come you, back and Kane I play comes in town they're doing a business deal the business deal goes south they kidnap Kane's girl like Lynch's girlfriend I mean, wait wait what yeah the, he had come to town to, to do one last deal I didn't even know who was who actually <laughs> like I, re- I keep forgetting who was Kane and who was Lynch <laughs> <laughs> like seriously I'm like, I'm like okay there's this bad guy I'm like yeah. okay and like some some guys are shooting me and like now I'm escorting somebody I'm like why am I escorting this guy he's your business partner <laughs> you guys were going to sell shit to somebody and, it's true, and like to be honest I was pausing about every five minutes. <laughs> so I was like, oh, and then I'd be like feeding. So maybe this isn't very conducive maybe to... Maybe not, maybe not. It is more experiential. But no. no, don't get me wrong. Like, this game is, is polished. Yeah. This game is solid. I hear great things about the multiplayer, but I haven't had a chance to play it, actually. Yeah, so I did. I, I've been playing the arcade mode a little bit. Um, I haven't mm-hmm. gotten... Long, so that's the problem, is I do feel a little bit bad that we didn't get to do the, the multiplayer as much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the arcade mode is, is pretty interesting, too, where it's like you and uh, seven other dudes are robbing a bank. Oh, uh, uh, okay. And then what happens is you guys are running out, and then there's an escape vehicle. So uh-huh. you can kill your teammates and take their money. You uh-huh. can go to the escape vehicle and make it leave without everybody else. Uh-huh. You can kind of betray people back and forth, but you need them to yeah. get out. Because like the, all the cops. And yeah. I heard like when you die, you become a cop. Yeah, in the so cops gets, and robbers in, in one. cops yeah. and robbers one, right? And then also, like, if you betray everybody, yeah. you're alone the next round. Right. Or something like that. Yeah, so and, like, and, it, and as soon as you shoot somebody, they can shoot you with no penalties. Yes. So there's kind of interesting balances like that. I mean... I played it and it, it was cool. I mean, it's yeah. it's fun. You you're know, not me. A multi- yeah, I'm not a, a big multiplayer guy. guy. Like, I, I I went in and I tried it. I'm like, oh, this is this is pretty sweet. But for me, the the story in the game absolutely yeah. was the big draw. But and, and to me, like like after playing the combat for a bit in the single player, it's like it does have that sort of feel of like kind of pling 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 pling, and they yeah. finally they die. And if they carry that over to the uh the, to the multiplayer, I'm probably not gonna. I don't think I'll be that interested. Mm. Right, I'll, and I'll have the same similar comments to some of the other games that we're talking yeah. about. It's just like when I shoot somebody, I want them to die. Yeah, and this is just a common thing for any sort of multiplayer dude um there when you get the better weapons in canyon lynch yeah, the, one weapons, shot, one kill. the weapons suck in the beginning in the beginning you got a little handgun and stuff yeah. so you get this you get this eight shot rifle that's not a sniper rifle it's just a rifle and it's one shot one kill and uh, same okay. with shotguns shotguns if you sure, get up we on have to somebody get close yeah yeah that's so. how shotguns work yeah, you know but pistols <laughs> it's like playing yeah. playing 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 yeah. so you, you you start to uh, you, and, and like eventually you get like chain guns where you can just mow through and a whole they bunch really of mow down okay oh, so yeah. then so i so, you know this is i think my reviews of this is going to be based off of Three hours, right? And from the sounds of it, the combat gets better. Yeah. Yeah, you beat that shit, so yeah. hey. So right. and, and one thing I would I do want to say is that I was I played through it, I beat it, and I was like, this is one of the best games of the year. I'm so super excited. Like this is gonna be on my top Xbox super Mario games. Galaxy. Mm-hmm. It's on the top Xbox. Game. Okay, okay, <laughs> just, just check in. So I went and I rented Kane Lynch One. Yeah. I went and I so was, was it was it us? It was not us. So <laughs> okay. I was just like, you know, maybe be. I fell in love with the characters in Camelot 2. Maybe, maybe I was too hard on the game. I went back. No. Oh my God, what a stinky... There's no, there's no cover system. Like, there's no, there's no click to cover. Oh, it's yeah. just a duck button. So you're just you're just basically doing this. You know the the style is shitty. Like all the the combat is the AI shitty. was really the AI bad. AI was terrible. The graphics were terrible. Yeah, I mean, it, um. it was, I was playing through. It. I, I played I played for an hour and a half, and I was just like. I was right. Yuzo was right. Like this game, it was, it's not like we were unfair. That game yeah. is shit. This game, the second one. But hey, they took better. all the feedback, and I know a lot of people didn't like it, and yeah. they 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 really did a good job. I have some issues with the co- the combat. Right. Um, I think if you're a, 
that's the thing too. It's just like it's funny because when you're like reviewing a first or third person shooter, it's like last year's you're was like Fear Two, right? Yeah, exactly. Fear Two. <laughs> and like, the shit. But what about blah 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 blah? And you're like, right? And like I think it's one of those things where it's like if you have the perfect harmony of like amazing story, some style, yep. and a little bit of combat or whatever, yep. it's just like fuck it. This is awesome, yep. right? It, it, if, um, you, if you sell me on the environment, like yeah. if, if it's one of these things where the where the combat's good and it, like because I'm not into you know big burly warrior fucking Gears of War like yeah. Gears of War I'll play through it I'm like this is a good game yeah but I'm not going to be sitting here on the show like ah like with Kane Lynch yeah. too I'm, I'm like this I'm like mm-hmm. you know I, I absolutely got sucked in and they showed me something new they showed me something interesting they made me feel like I was living in fucking Blade Runner yep. and you're right I mean it's, it, this is very similar to Fear 2 it's pretty much because they were telling a story they yep. were like really fucking with my head they were doing all the weird ghost effects yeah. and the combat and was I was good. playing and I'm just like yeah the combat's just not and for me that, that's what it is right it's like, I will still play Modern Warfare right. in the same maps over and over because I love the mechanics I'm really addicted to the mechanics but then I'm playing like Fear 2 I'm playing like any of these other games just like I get it yeah, yeah okay but in like the story just like I'm not a story gamer right, right. at this point and I'm so, absolutely a story gamer yeah so for me I'm gonna give it a thumbs up rental I think you should check it out for the style alone yeah uh, style and the storyline and all that just for all that and the mechanics of it's the like shooting it's like nothing I've ever seen eh, before yeah you know. I mean, and, and I say buy that shit right now it's fucking Super awesome, and hey, if the I think multiplayer, then definitely buy it. Hell yeah, if the yeah. Multiplayer, is multiplayer is looking is looking really good. Yeah. So, so that was that, and then we go back a little bit, roll back in time, right? A little bit, way back in time, right, right, right. Uh, so then we go back to Earthworm Jim HD. So this HD. is the re the redo of uh, the original Earthworm Jim. Yep. Now all prettified. And and nostalgia wise, I remember loving this Earthworm Jim so much. It yeah. was like one of the best platformers. It was really like irreverent. Mm-hmm. It had this really great style, kind of like Boy on His Blob was irreverent. It had that kind of same sort of like funky style. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think? Uh, Nostalgia is a, a, a dangerous beast. <laughs> Seriously, like it's a harsh mistress, right? Yes. I mean, it's just it's like you go back and I'm like, wow, why did I like this game? Yes. So I am a platform connoisseur. I would say <laughs> you are, dude. that I am a connoisseur oh my of all God. things platformer. Yeah. I'm a snob about that shit. I was playing through this, and I'm just like, this is shitty platforming. It's sloppy. It's sloppy. You're it's right. So that, that's, sloppy. That's, that's exactly what it is. It's just like... <laughs> You want, like, if the whole point of a game is platforming, you want to, like, hit the platforms. You want to yep. feel like every time you touch a button, that game is, like, just absolutely, it's with you yeah, every yeah. step of the way. And, like, we had the same complaints about Little Big Planet. And yes. that's, that's, that's the exact comparison to me. Like, I'm jumping, and I'm like, well, but it's not doing what I want. Exactly. Um, and it, this, <sighs> this, this whole thing was a fight. This entire yep. game was a fight. And it's like every time I would fall off something, it wasn't like, I can do that better. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> you yeah. cock. You guys couldn't have made this better where it's like you jump up to grab a ring on a yeah. thing and the character just misses and falls down yeah. the floor. It's like, I did that right. Your game just blows. And this is like the one of the worst things. Like, you make a remake, it's just like, not, like, fine, you make the graphics better, but you make a, you better make the gameplay a little more forgiving because yeah. I was playing this and I remember the continues being kind of a bane in the ass back in the day, but guess what? You had nothing else to do. Yeah. You're going to be playing this shit over and over and over again. Right. I'm playing and I'm doing this, there's this one map, and I think it's the third map. I'm going around, going up here, I missed a jump. Yeah. I'd have to go do this over and over again. I just to jump 15 times, yeah. right? And I, I finally got it, and I'm like, wow, that, that, fuck that. Right. Right? I'm, it's not I'm, rewarding. It's not rewarding yeah. at all. Uh, I mean, the, the, so <laughs> the, the characters weren't interesting. The platforming, which is the essence of the game, was terrible. The combat was awful. The, yeah, the, 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 the weird, oh, like, the yeah, the shooting and the, the yeah. shooting. But. <sighs> And nostalgia doesn't save it in this case. Does not save for it for some of the other games we were, we're talking about. Like nostalgia is still still strong. It's right? true. Yeah, I mean, uh, the thing is, the I didn't have puns. the nostalgia for this that you did. But I mean, obviously, it, even your nostalgia. I mean, it's a bad game. There is no two ways around it. It's a bad game now. Yeah, it was probably better than most games back in the day. Probably like when it came out. But I mean, Commander Keen was better than most games back then. If you try to play Commander Keen, I bet now, you Commander Keen is probably better than this game. Right? Like, probably better. It holds up better. It would it would hold up okay. Dude, it hold up fair okay. Enough, fair but, enough. I mean, it's not like, you know, if I bet you right now, if they came out with Commander Keen on Xbox Live, we'd be like, Commander Keen, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and it comes out, we're just like, yeah, I tried the demo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, like Super Mario still probably pulls it pulls that, it together. Okay, Met- Super Metroid definitely pulls that shit together. You're right. You're right. So like, it's possible. There's, there's, there's other games yeah. out there. Um, Like even Serious Sam, remember when they released that? I, I was playing it. I'm like, wow, this was just like Doom. Yeah. It's kind of fun still, it right? It was, kind of, it, it, was, it was still kind of fun. It was. I played it for Did six you? hours okay. at least. Like right. it was, yeah. it was kind of fun. Like yeah. I'm still gonna keep playing because it was also during the time where there's no nothing else to right, play. Right, 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 right. right. Um, yeah. So, so that's the thing. Like I think if I was gonna do this over again, or if, if I was the developers, you should probably fix a few things. Yeah, like the game it better. 
Like she make, make the gameplay fun. Yeah, like make Earthworm Jim into a brand new game that's yeah. more fun. Right, yeah, exactly. So. I mean, just just you know, you got to tune the mechanics. Look at what uh, a lot of modern platformers have done in terms of yeah. you have to learn from the past. Like this was a it was a pioneer in terms of platforming. This kind of stuff hadn't been done before. This was back in the era of the first Prince of Persia. Yeah, you know, like this was a lot more dynamic than that, right? This <sighs> yeah. is this was kind of jumping and swinging and sliding. I'm sure it was very exciting. The first Prince of Persia, they all they did was slap some new things, and it still was kind of fun. Yeah, right. Like yeah. compared to this, and that's one of the things. Like this had so many of the elements that were. Kind of like if you look at them now today, no game would do this, right? Except for maybe a little big planet. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's cold. I know it's cold, but hey, a little big planet too looks. Better, it does look really look better. better. Um. So yeah. So yeah. It's just like I for fifty. Wasn't it fifty? No, nine ninety nine. I think it was. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't nah, care. I don't, I don't care. care. If this was four hundred points. I'd say thumbs up. It's not yeah. a good game. This game fucking sucks. No, stay away from it. It does. Fuck. It looks better, but that's it. Sure. Uh, so next up is Monday Night Combat. Monday Night Combat. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's the second to last one in the Summer of Arcade. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It I is... a hard time describing it. It is... It's arena combat. Like, it, it's just this... Yeah. It, it's, that's all it is. Class-based I mean, arena, arena combat. That's right. Class-based class -based arena combat. And the whole thing is survive hordes of oncoming enemies with your friends. Yes. It's basically um, the cell. Yeah, and it's, and it's team-based, right? Like, you're either trying to, like, capture the money ball. Yep. Um, I didn't play many of the other games. I was only the trial. And you yeah, like, 30 defend minutes. your base against the horde. Defend your base. Um, and it's really... Like, they do some interesting stuff where you have different classes. Some have stealth. You can hide. Right. Like, I can't count the number of times. Like, all of a sudden I'm playing, and then all of a sudden I'm getting this... Action, an animation of some guy like just stabbing me and I'm right. like w what do I do? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah. So they have that and um, what's really interesting is they also have like some of uh, like NPCs come as well. Like each team will have these other robots yeah. that come through the map and they help you out. Right. And, and you, you can, and, you can and the, th the whole thing is, is so you're killing people and you get money and you take that money and you power yourself up. You power up your grenades. You power up your jump. You power up this. You power up turrets. Yeah. And that's when it starts getting interesting areas, yeah. where uh, you know, throughout the level, there's these defense mechanisms, and you can spend the money that you've earned. Yep. Either you can keep it for yourself, or you can start doing things like turn on this turret, power up this turret, yep. turn on these other things, turn on these jump pads. Like you actually mm -hmm. enable mechanics in the level yeah. where it's like you turn on the jump pad for fifty bucks, and now you can jump up to the second level. Exactly, which is kind of interesting too, because I think like the team that's doing better can do even better, mm -hmm. right? I mean, because they're killing people, they're getting the coins, and yeah. then they're upgrading their entire side of the base, and then they keep getting coins because people, right? Yeah, I mean, so, like, it, that it, it's clearly little... set up to, you're supposed to spend as much as you can. Yeah. Because you're going to need that shit. Like, when they come, you need to just buff up everything and just spend the money because, like you said, you're going to get exactly. more money that way. Yeah, and it's just like, this is one of those games that I like to say is like, you throw a bunch of your friends, yeah. any game is kind of good. Yeah. And to, and to me, like, like I could say, you know, complain about the mechanics, I can complain about the shooting, complain about some other stuff, but, like, I went there, I saw a couple bunch, couple bunch of new, new tubers, we were yeah. playing together, it was a blast. Yeah. Right? I did the same thing. So I, I hopped on, I actually didn't even find noob tubers, I just hopped online with random dudes. Really? And mm -hmm. it was it was just really fun, like, it was just this kind of, you know, I actually did put on the headset, you know, I yeah, actually yeah. you did, actually started talking yeah, to Yeah, I actually started, and, and it wasn't like, you know, I, maybe I got lucky, because nobody was being a dick, but everybody yeah. was just kind of like, oh shit, another wave of these guys, and then, you know, like, people would be shooting the guy, and yeah. somebody come around behind him and toss a grenade, and he died, and yeah. like, oh shit, you know, so like, huh. it's just... So, so the team-based me mechanism, I think, really... Yeah. Right, you have to rely on each other. If the Absolutely. The team that plays together in this game is like it's crucial, yeah. Um, like Team Fortress and right. a couple other games, and 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 it was is and it's uh, it's just a good constant action game because you die yeah. five seconds later, you're back in the in the melee. You yep. know, it's it's just it's just there's kind no of like real a, big. Res I mean, there's some respawning, but you can always change your class at you know yep. when you respawn. Yeah. Uh, you can upgrade your stuff, so there's a nice little RPG element. Right. Um, I, I definitely have to say that the combat's kind of annoying. It's not great. I mean, it's, it really is not if well you, done. It's, like, if you look at the game in general, like, the models are kind of cheap, yeah. the animation's a little off, yeah. but after a while, you kind of forget that stuff, and, and it's just like, I'm playing a game with a bunch of people, and it's kind of fun. Yeah. So, for, like, $15, I, I have a, I mean, I didn't, I didn't like it enough to play it, because, like, I, right. I have another multiplayer competitive game I still need to play, and, it, and I think it's one of those is things where it's like... Starcraft? I don't know! <laughs> right? It's just like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna spend a lot, of, invest a lot of time when I can get, make my um, MMM build a little better, right? right? No, that's true. <laughs> it's it's true. And, stuff, so. and, that's, and that's kind of the way I felt about it, too. I was like, this is a good game. Yes. You know, like, I was playing through Far it, on. like you said, I mean, the, the, there's lots of flaws to it, it just, it's, it feels kind of cheap, but... You buy it. It's it is kind of cheap, bucks, right? It is kind of cheap. So <laughs> yeah. it's it's just it's a it's a great it's kind of a it's like a summer popcorn film sort of yeah. just everybody just goes in and blah, 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 it's like the Expendables blah, blah, blah. in video yeah. game form, right? Yes, it's Basically. just like Expendables. Um, and it's it's awesome if you get all of your guys, you know, a bunch of guys together that you know and you're playing, you're fucking around. Yeah. It's just like it's just a fun time. And for fifteen bucks, it's hard to fault that. Uh, it's it's a uh, four person, right? You can um, do more than that, or can you do more than that? I only the, played the with... teams are huge. I thought. Oh, when I was playing, it was just. 
No, there's definitely more than four that I've seen on our team. There's, I think there's six. I think there's five. other game modes. I, don't, okay. I have no idea. Gotcha. At this point, I played half an hour on the thing, and I had a great time. Yeah. Um, and so. I did the same thing. So I, I, I played the demo, and I didn't buy the game because, yet again, I was playing yeah. through Cannon Lynch. I'm like, oh, yeah. this, is, this is really cool. This is really cool. Oh, but, 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 but. So it's like, so for you, you've got a better multiplayer game to play. For me, I was like, this is a cool game. I'm going to tell people to get it, but I'm not a multiplayer gamer, right? Like, I'm going to go yes. back and beat Kane and Lynch 2, Yep, because that's my shit. And then you probably have Mafia to play after that. Mafia. And yes. a couple other games. Um, but yeah, so it's like, yeah, I'm definitely going to give it a thumbs up. You should yeah. definitely try. And the awesome thing, and I, I love the fact the game, that um, uh, Xbox Live trials are starting to do this now, yeah. where before, like, you'd get a trial, you'd never even get to experience the multiplayer. Like, yeah. for example... Castlevania. Yes. Where apparently the whole point, everybody's like in the comments like, no, no, dude, play with six people. It's like, awesome. Yeah. Why not let me try that <laughs> then, you ass? For 20 minutes, for yeah. 30 minutes. It, it's possible. Tons of games have done yeah. at this point. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're absolutely right. It's like, and, and this, is, this is the big difference that they're starting to learn in games, but it's yeah. just, there's so many games like that where they let you play a little bit of kind of unfun bullshit, and then they're like, they give they're you like, this, they're like, uh, 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 Yes, it's like, uh, you, uh, uh, you might find this fun. Here's a big boss that you could fight, and it's just like, well, you didn't show me the fun part of the game. You showed me, like, the build-up, right? The, yeah. I don't want the foreplay. I want the penetration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and slight movement. You would yeah, like just give me, little, give me a little just bit a of little a... a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> let me get my Jimmy wet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah it's basically like a condom the entire time. But yeah. like, <laughs> uh, But, um... <laughs> This is terrible, our analogies. Yes. But yeah, yeah, and it's just like, you know they can do it. Why don't they do it more often? With Monday Night Combat, if this was truly the summer doldrums, yeah. which in this case, since StarCraft had come out a couple of weeks before, like, I would have totally paid the money for this. Yes. So um, the way they did this demo was absolutely perfect. It was an unlimited use of the game for 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And so it'll sell try you. the demo. Cool. If you like it, buy it. It's a good game. Yes. Uh, last one up. <sighs> so God, Pilgrim versus the world. Yeah, so this is the first a comic. Yeah. Um, I tried reading it a couple of times. I couldn't really get into it. Right. Um, it's now a movie with and Michael all my Cera. friends, all my friends that have seen the movie say it's awesome. I'm planning on seeing the movie. Oh, it the looks, reviews have been awesome. Yeah, actually, it looks, it looks right up my alley. I mean, it's just like a bunch of game references, a bunch of hot girls, whatever. Yes. So here's the game version of that. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, let's say, Fight Night. Fight Night? Wait, the boxing game? No, I'm sorry, not Fight Night. Oh, uh, Final, Final Fight. Final Fight, Final sorry, Fight. Yeah. Final Fight. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's Fight Night. <laughs> what? You didn't play that game? Or is it, is I, don't, I don't realize. What game so are this you is, talking So about? it's yeah. just like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Basically, yeah. Right? You have Little Mac. Except, except it's just like Final Fight. <laughs> <laughs> and also little Castle Crushers thrown in. Yes, yeah. Um, it's, and also... Dude, it's trying real hard to be Castle Crushers. Right, except uh, smeared with pig shit. <laughs> Say that you took Castle Crashers and then fucked it in the butt with Final Fight and then smeared them in pig shit. But see, but the thing is, like, if you take Angelina Jolie and smear her in pig shit, you I would still... Yes, because that's good. That. And you say, you, say, you, say, you say Castle Crashers in pig shit, I'd still play that game, right? <laughs> I, I didn't Honestly. like Castle Crash as much as you did. Like, oh, yeah, I, it, okay. it was good, but it, was it, a didn't, fun game. St it didn't stick with me. But yeah, yeah. It's, this game sucks. Uh, it's just it's trying so hard to be Castle Crashers, and it doesn't have the graphics because I know they're going for the the retro yeah. NES graphics, yeah. and it's like I think that's great if you do it right. Sure. Um, it looks. I mean, I thought it looked fine. I thought that I thought that it looked okay. Yeah, the art was okay, but it's just yeah. like I kept on seeing the same freaking enemies over and over and over. Right. again. Maybe that's more of a design thing. But like, I like Final Fight. <laughs> At least they changed the color of the guys in Final Fight. That'd be the exact Seriously. same model with like a green shirt and then a red shirt and, and then the a black shirt. The purple guys were really hard, right? I yes, mean, that's true. And they give you difficulty. This one is just like the same guy. Yeah. Same guy, same Another guy. sprite. Another sprite. And then how do you beat them? Oh. Hammer the same fucking button for a while. How about that? But, and you get these new moves where it's just like occasionally as you level up yeah. and it's just like I didn't really now care. Now you can it's run an like, attack. Now you can yeah. pick up the guy and hit the other guy with it. I mean like you get it, right? Like you start playing and it's just like alright I can pick an object and hit a dude with it. I can yeah. hit a dude. I can knock a dude down, pick him up and hit other dudes. I can pick up a bat. I can pick up a trash. I can pick up the dude. I mean they have some variety but yeah. you take a level of the, basically the, the the, the level of excellence at this point in these kinds of brawls, right. Castle Crashers. Yeah. You have to beat it, or you right. have to match it. At this point, anything below is like, eh. Yeah. I mean, this right. is, this, this, it just feels like such a movie cash, oh, and they're totally. like, we need a game. What? Well, the, the movie is about people that like retro games, right? Like, yeah. why don't you guys throw a retro game just together? Whatever. Just do whatever. Look, look at, here's this game, Castle Crashers, kind of put some leveling in yeah, there. Yeah, make it kind of look like that, except 8-bit. Yeah. And they're like, okay. And like, you know, put your, put your, Somewhat decent guys on this. We don't want to spend a bunch of money. <laughs> we no, we, we want to like, put like eight guys instead of yeah. four guys, maybe. Yeah, exactly. It's just uh, it, nine months. 
Right. And, right. Yeah. Whatever you've got at the end of nine months, like when the movie comes out, we're shipping it. Just Whatever ship it you out. guys got, we're shipping it. And it's, you think about it, like Universal, like you look at some of the other guys who are getting into it. You look at Warner Brothers yeah. who are getting into the, 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 the video game license business. Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Fuck, what the hell? Yeah. You got Disney coming into the picture and like epic Mickey. Right. Right. It's just so like you, and, and what and the, the pattern there, the pattern yeah. there is that they're not saying, here's a movie, let's make a game out of it. They're saying, no. here's a movie, let's make a game inspired by it. Here's an IP that we have exactly. that we would like to create a good, and let's hire a good game designer, yep. a good game developer. Yep. Universal is now in the fucking like mid like late nineties, early two thousands mindset of let's just throw some shit out there like Iron Man. Yeah. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. And because maybe you look at Batman Arkham Asylum. Imagine if they'd made even with the top awesome notch developers they did that game with, imagine if they just basically made you walk through Dark Knight, right? Like (laughs) you're fighting the Joker and it looks like Heath Ledger and you're going through and it's just like because that's what these games do is they'll be like Oh, you're right. Well, this is what the movie is, so let's have you walk through the movie. You know, let's have yeah. you just kind of fight, and you're like, oh, I know it. Because, like, if you look at the Harry Potter, uh, Lego Harry Potter games, you just, it's fucking step by step. It's the fucking I movie. I like those, though. <laughs> they were, they were, they they got, they they, were way better. Right, yeah. But, no, but I like, well, the thing is, like, what's interesting with this one is that they took uh, Scott Pilgrim. They didn't try to follow the movie. No. They thought that, okay, well, what, what the Scott Pilgrim moviegoers were really like is retro graphics. Right, 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 right. But shitty gameplay. Yeah, they're like, we know you nerds. Yeah, no, you'll, you'll figure it out. Put some chip tunes on it. <laughs> I heard the kids like the chip tunes. Actually, the music was really good. Yeah, the music was okay, but I'm not going back to that game oh, for fuck the music, no, but right? I was just like, that was like the one thing that didn't annoy me about this Yeah, piece of so it's just like, yeah, like, Universal like really needs to come to the thing now. It's just like, they got a bunch of properties, right? They got all the fucking monster movies. Yeah. Make a, make, make a real decent mummy game. Yeah, like a, absolutely. Like, do you, do you remember that the Scorpion King or whatever? No. They did that too. They made a game out of that? Well, I remember Lucian sent out a thing uh, oh, uh, back in the yes. day, right? It's yes. just like, you, you can kick, the Scorpion you can King. jump. That's right. And it was like, it was like, pia, pia. It, it was like that Kung Fu game on the NES. Like, pia, pia, yeah, pia, like, pia. like, and that's, that's the thing. So just like, come on, get a fucking clue, hire yeah. a good game developer and do some good shit. Yeah. Don't make this. This game sucks my dick. Yes. So, but we'll still probably see the movie. Yeah. I'll totally see the movie. It didn't spoil me on the movie. Uh, oh. So, Next up, new releases. Mafia Two is the big daddy of next week. This is this is the big shit. It's huge. Um, so I have not played the demo yet. You have. So you should talk a little about did. that. Did, but I've been seeing the ads for this game. Yeah. My God. It looks awesome. It looks it, like yeah. it is <laughs> jaw dropping. Yeah. Like I mean, it is, it is basically like they they took they took the the kind of creative direction of Mad Men. You know, like yeah, that yeah, they yeah, did the sixties exactly. and seventies, except they did this in the forties. Like the, the attention to detail, the yes. perfect period detail. Yeah. Like you're walking oh. through your house and everything is perfect. You're collecting Playboys. So Whoa. two seconds in the demo, they're like, "Oh, there's a magazine on the table. You pick it up, and it's like yeah. a retro Playboy with full nudity, like just a Wait, naked in, a, girl. in the demo. In the demo." Like Fuck. we talked about this oh, last yeah, week, right. we where, did, we're yeah. just, where we're just like, I don't know how they pulled that off. But I mean, so, but I mean, huh. that's, that, so, it, it, so if you know GTA, you know this game. I mean, it's the yeah. same idea. Like so a little mini map pops yep. up. You got to go here. You got to go there. But they do. Uh, they, they're really kind of focusing on the story. Like the whole thing is mm. how you become a gangster, how you yep. get in with these guys. There's lots of cinematic detail. Lots yep. of really just uh, uh, interesting. The one thing that actually worries me a little bit is all the combat was awesome, all the dialogue was awesome, all the running through buildings was awesome. What's wrong with that? (laughs) Car chases. The cars felt like shit. (sighs) Like uh, I know they're trying to make it feel like a '40s car. They were the, really boaty. Uh, they do. You know, that's the big. That's a couple of the games did that back in the day. Yeah. Like I forget what it was. There's the uh, Vendetta or something like that. But basically, there was a couple of games where like they purposefully made the car driving lane because realistic. that's that <laughs> realistic because that's how cars drove back in the day. Where like they're yeah. basically big ass boats. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever driven an old car, but they they yeah. suck. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're just kind of you're like, like mm, you're, you're more, you're, you're you're more the wrestling notches. with it than anything <laughs> yeah, else. Yeah, you have the notches in the, in the steering wheel. Come right? on! Uh, yeah, you're like, <laughs> like this. It's like those old ones that had the handle on it so you could just like, <laughs> like crank the wheel. Have you ever driven a car like that? I never have. Okay, because that's, that's fucked up. But, it, basically, you know you're driving an old car when you have the stick shift on the side. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so uh, but it, yeah, so like, the, 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 the driving honestly felt kind of like shit. Ah, uh, oh, it's too bad. Hopefully you don't make you go to one place through another yeah, driving. we'll see. We'll see. I mean, that's the thing is any GTA game is gonna rely a lot on driving, <laughs> right? I mean, this is this is Mafia oh, GTA. So, yeah. But you know, it could be that, that that you get a shitty car at first, and you get better cars later. Maybe you just get used to the mechanics. <laughs> what, like Lamborghini or something? <laughs> 
an old. I mean, I'm sure like in the 40s, sports cars drove better than fucking station wagons. Yeah, you you're know probably I mean? right. Yeah, yeah. It, it, hopefully, it's not crap all the way through. But I mean, what I played of the mm-hmm. actual uh, fighting and and yeah. the story was excellent. So from the demo, which I think is just ten minutes, I, it's by launch. By launch? Okay, demo. so I what, 20, 24th. So, yeah, so probably that's in tomorrow. Tomorrow, when you guys are point. watching this, it's the game's coming out tomorrow. We are waiting for him to games games up. Yep, I'll it be up. there if at the midnight launch of. Oh wait, there's no fucking midnight launches in California. They haven't really do. Starcraft was a few other ones. Sorry, there's no nothing I want to play. Oh, Modern Warfare Two was a nothing midnight launch. Nothing I want to play. Has... They're not going to have a ratchet. They're Why never going to never gonna have a Yakuza. The Yakuza Four will not be a midnight launch. You got to like good games. You know, all they have Sorry. to do is just have either. any store that is open 24 hours just all the time anyway. Like, they, like Walmart's. They closed all those around here. Like everything. There's not a single 24 hour Walmart. The one down in Gil- I don't know. They, the, it's yeah. hard to find shit here. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> Damn well, it. Well, you know what you do, right? Um, well, it's not midnight launch, but you actually just order at this point now. Like I'm going to probably start ordering all my stuff on Amazon. So you get, you get ship day. day. Yeah, say shame day. Yeah, that's so. true. I, I should probably do that. So. Um, but yeah, it looks good. So we're totally to... buying that one. Yep. Uh, so, so the next, the new releases are all uh, smaller games. Uh, well, not the, the next one's a full PC game. Uh, Elemental War of Magic. Yeah. Um, I, I think we should let you talk about this game. Yeah. I think so, this is, uh, uh, so this is right up your alley. It looks awesome. So it's like this RTS where you can go and build a shed, and then with the shed you can research stuff, and then you can send people out and fight. <laughs> I actually caught you. I caught, I caught Tobin yawning when the CEO of Starduck was playing the game. He's just like, <laughs> like two minutes into the description, because he was like, "Okay, oh, this, there's a study right here, and like there's an ogre camp." Yeah, and just but I can't attack the ogre camp because I'm trying to trade with them for goods. I'm just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care, <clears throat> but you don't care either. But you're not well, that, like well, the thing is like like if you go back in the day, like Master of the Master of series, especially yeah. the Master of Magic. Yeah, I played so much of that game, and this is kind of like the the spiritual successor, where it's like you you manage cities, you do combat at turn based, you do all this really cool stuff, and they're trying to do it now with Magic again. Yeah. And the UI looks different. So it, I mean, yeah, it it, uh, it looked it looked kind of creative. I mean, like from what I saw the gameplay, if you're the kind of person that likes those games, uh, which it, I am, yeah, which you are. I mean, like it, it did look it looked pretty. It looked it looked interesting. I don't know. Yeah, it's just like I, yeah, for me, like it has to really capture that magic, but it has to have the, the mechanics. Now with Stardock publishing it, I'm excited because Sins of the Solar Empire, amazing. Right, right, yeah, that's Ga- true. Galactic Civilizations, awesome. Yeah, but I kind of played a little bit of this at PAX, and I it was really confused. And when uh, I'm confused at these kind of games, yeah. like it might be for those other people. That, and it's like, a PC game, so you can't try a demo, right? Like know, that's the thing yeah. that kills me. I mean, well, maybe, unless they release a specific demo, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, maybe they'll come out with a demo. Maybe they'll come out with it on Steam with a demo. Like if there's a demo, I'm sure you'll try it. But yeah. you're obviously not going to buy this at launch. No, I mean at this point now, it's a PC game. I'm playing StarCraft yeah, for so a PC game Starcraft. for the next month yeah. until Civilization Five comes out, and yeah. that's got that's going to be my fix for a little while. So I, I, I kind of feel sad because like, this is coming out at at a, at a bad time. Right. When I really want to try it. So, you know, come winter, you know, hopefully. Sure. We're going to try. Uh, so next up is Shank. Yeah, we played some packs, right? Yeah. Um, and it looked really interesting. It, it did. It's, um, it's got kind of a... It's got kind of a um like a final fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, fight, fight night, right? Fight <laughs> night. They got a nice yeah, fight night round. Fight night. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so, <laughs> so it's just like uh, uh, Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> But yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's a two-player two co-op brawler, right? right? Two-player co-op brawler, and the whole thing is like it's it's supposed to be kind of edgy, you know? These these uh, guys, stabby, yeah, I kind of kind of think like a lot, um, a lot of stabbing, a lot of guys with long hair, like saying <laughs> badass shit, you know? Kind of cel shaded, which is a really cool art concept. Yeah. Um, it feels to me like they took kind of like you know like cal- not castle because it's all side, it's two D, right? Side scrolling, so you take a look at final fight without being side symmetric, but then they kind of add a little god of war to it. Yeah, and right? the, the only thing that worries me is that they also add a bunch of metal slug to it. Like, really? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's 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 two D, two dudes yeah. shooting and fighting. Sure. Right? I mean, it, it yeah, kind of yeah. looks like the the formula but, for metal slug. But I kind of like the fact that because you're fighting the bosses, and you have the epic bo- boss battles. You know, you're killing them. They have the big uh, bar, but then you get them round down low. You see a big R one, R one, R one. Right, him. finish him, and then you're doing a little bit of quick time events. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like that. It's new. no, they add they add it's new. They add a lot yeah. of elements that make it interesting enough that I'm definitely going to try yeah. it. But I mean, like, it just worries me that 90 percent of the game is going to be walk to the right and you know shoot endless numbers of dudes. Yeah, you're not going to walk left. No, you're, 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 you're never game. walk left in games. <laughs> Name a fucking game. Actually, you did Kung Quest. Fu. Yeah, right. And Nick's Quest. Quest. Yeah, actually, yeah, Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Because you went right. 
Go left, left, then right. Right, left, <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually, well, it's, it's going to be a trial. Uh, I love the art style yes. of this game. It looks gorgeous. It, the, the animation in and Smooth of itself as silk. is, It's like yeah. 60 frames per second. Beautiful. Perfect. So, yeah, I will try the trial. Absolutely. Uh, and then last up is Ivy the Kiwi. Yeah, so I, like, I saw that, I'm thinking casual game, just yeah. from the title. I was thinking they're from New Zealand. <laughs> Plants from New Zealand. Yeah, basically. Ivy yeah, the I Kiwi. Can, you know, I whatever. Can totally see that. Um, um, so but, it's and it comes out. It's on the Wii and the DS. So it's basically yes. two things with pointy. Like you either yeah. point or you point. And, and the reason why I just like my ears kind of perked up is yeah. it's made by Yuji Naka, I believe his name is, yeah. who did Sonic. Which Sonic? The, so he's, I believe, the creator of the original Sonic. Ah, uh, okay. And I was just like, oh, really? And then I'm thinking, mm, was he also the creator of the other Sonic? That's right. How involved <laughs> were you in the later Sonics? Yeah, but I mean, the, the fact that if he came up with the original Sonic, at least he has some chops, right? Yes, it's just like, absolutely. You, you think the originator of Pac-Man, who does no. Pac-Man, Pac-Man Championship Edition, you know it's going to be good shit. Yeah, and, right? and from watching the gameplay, it was very, it's very, very well thought out. So it's imagine innovative, yeah. You take, you take lemmings, you take the mechanic of lemmings, which is a lemming walking, and you have no control of them. No, uh, going in the same direction, or whatever, and, but, and, and, and all you have is Ivy. The ability to draw Ivy. That's yeah. it. So you just draw a straight line, it makes Ivy, and then you can draw it at any angle, you can kind of flip it and spin mm-hmm. it, like you can, you're basically just trying to nudge this character through the level by drawing shit under them. Yep, and the whole point is to collect a bunch of feathers yep. uh, throughout the, the map and then hit the end, and um, I, I, the thing is, I don't know which platform I want to play it in, because both of them, one is Wii, where you're basically drawing, yeah. and then you're grabbing it, pulling it, but the other one's DS, and... Uh, it's hard to say, because I want the graphics of the Wii, I want it to look... It's it's better better than than a DS. I know, but I'm just like, I would have never thought I would have heard you say that. If only you could get the graphic power of the Wii. <laughs> Compared to the DS. Right. Uh, With the brain power of a Hollywood actress. <laughs> Genius. <sighs> so, so I mean, uh, the point is, is compared to like the dinky shit DS, right? The Wii is going to look better. Yeah. Um, so, but it, I but like it, the portability factor. If it's the exact same game for the right. most part, then I'm going to be playing this on the bus or whatever. And so. you have a lot more uh, exact control with your hand, I think. And this than, game looks very control focused. Yeah. And if, if we, if the we, the waggle controls are off a little bit, latency or whatever. Yeah. Fuck this game. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So I mean, I don't know if maybe I don't know if one it's of us Wii. should play the DS and one plus should play and just like, talk about our experiences. Yeah, we should. Um, I, think I, call, I call DS. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> right, fine. We I'll, can, I'll play the Wii. Trade off. Yeah, yeah. But um, uh, I think that would be an interesting um, example. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. I'll try it out. So uh, next up, this is it, guys. So Whew. this is episode 199. Episode 200 yes. is a compilation episode uh, done by the NoobTube community. So this is our last chance to tell you in person. Yes. PAX is in two weeks. Or is it in one week it's, from when this Well, comes next out? one's going to be, yeah, this one, and then the 200, and then right after that's going to be PAX. Okay, so PAX so, in two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. Um, holy shit, dude. Yes. Are you ready? Uh, I'm kind of ready. Uh, uh, so we got our schedule. So, yes. so like, like we said last week, GameShark put the schedule together. We've got all of our events going on. Here's yep. the big, big, big thing. Get a mobile phone that, that does Twitter or Very a laptop important. that does Twitter or whatever. Yep. Follow NoobTube. Uh, at NoobTube. Yeah, just... Yeah, just, we're going to... I like to use that now instead of... Because remember we use hashtag in NoobTube? And yeah. like, some people are doing one, some people are like, fuck it, no, no, no. Right. Just do at NoobTube anywhere in your tweet, and that's yeah. when you can talk to everybody else following that. Does that work? Yeah, you just, all you do is just make a search for at oh, NoobTube. You, yeah, that's yeah. the problem with some people are doing at NoobTube, some people are doing the hashtag, hashtag right. NoobTube, right? So, so yeah, so just everybody that wants to talk, say, at NoobTube, I am uh, over at the games, you know, GameStop, GameStop, Game, game stop. Game works. Game works. <laughs> fucking game spot. Too much game beer. Spy, game stop. Game works. All these fucking things. So the point is, is send messages to that yep. and also follow the NoobTube account, which we'll be twittering from, where we say, "Hey NoobTubers, Retro Night, meet here at this yep. time." Hey NoobTubers, do this. So it's like Twitter is going to be our shit this year. So get your Twitter account and and follow along. Yeah, and you also if you just have a phone with just uh, uh which one SMS, you can mm. actually set it so it SMSes you anything with at NoobTube. Right. You might spend a lot of money on SMSs. Hopefully but you have an unlimited SMS hopefully. account. Like, I think most kids. If you don't have a smartphone, I mean, you, there's a bunch of ways yeah. you can do this. Uh, international guys, maybe you are fucked. maybe rent a cell phone yeah. for the weekend is what you are we'd fucked. rent. I mean, seriously, because at this point now, like we have all the schedule stuff Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. and Sunday, but a lot of times people are like, "Hey, I'm going to this panel," or "Hey, I need people in my tournament, uh, the yes. Halo tournament, yes. or something like that." Yes. Whatever. So people just randomly meet. We're yeah. going to be tweeting like, hey, we're here. Right. Uh, everybody do something random. So, so and, and the, the other thing I want to say is, is make sure that you've got a T-shirt. Either get one from the Zazzle store. 
go make one with a with a sharpie. Just have something that says noob tube because that's how we find each other, and that's what makes oh, it twice shit. as fun. Dude, we gotta order stickers and shit. Too. I know we gotta. Yeah, get so our we gotta stuff. do that. So we yeah. got we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, but anyway, Penny Arcade Expo. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. It's always a blast. Yeah, it's basically the one noob tube official meetup that we're able to get a bunch of people together. We had about eighty last time. Yeah. Let's shoot for a hundred this time. Hell yeah! Um, we're buying pizza for everybody. Hell yeah! We'll free pizza, out, man. and we're gonna beat Kekel Cubicle on a projector. On a projector. Uh, so first, next up is uh, the mailbag. So we got two oh, gifts. Right. This week. Yes. So, uh, what do we got this, first? This is one right. So, first so, we got Wesley. Thank you very much, Wesley. He sent in three games. Yes. What games are there? Fragile Dream. So, I actually have not played this one. So, yeah, I don't of know all what these this games, one is. This is the one I haven't tried. So, I would uh, like to. You may be the shot. last person on Earth survive to f- uh, search for others. All right. Okay. Uh, so, the next up is Dead Space. Fucking Woo, on the PC. One of the best games of the year. Uh, and then the last one is Silent Hill uh, Shattered Memories. Shattered Memories. And then Which, a lot of people have been posting saying, why haven't you reviewed this? And right. we never got around to it. Right. I actually uh, played a little bit of it, and then I didn't okay. get back to it. But what I played was actually really fun. Yeah. So, so maybe we're going to give these away as prizes at PAX. Yes. Yeah, so, thank you very much, Wesley. Um, I'm. I'm Assuming that's what you... Because there's no letter with this. But. Yes. Uh, and then next up... Uh, so AJ Konst yeah. made us a noob tube controller. I don't know. Wow, that's nice. And, and what's on the back? And then on the back, it says 200. Yeah. 200. So this is for episode 200. So he actually took... Uh, an Xbox 360 controller made it green and blue like our logo and put NoobTube on it. This is awesome. This is really, This is really so awesome. cool. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, we always appreciate stuff. If, if you guys want to send anything else, uh, go to our front page and all of our uh, P.O. Box information is there. Yep, right there on the front page. So, uh, shoop, next up is shoop, shoop, doop, shoop, doop, shoop 101. There was a nice turnout for Shoop 100. There was. I, it was, I was say. editing the video last week, and it's funny because you and I like talked about the Shoop, and we we're like, oh, blah, blah, Shoop is awesome. Yeah. And we started going into like the, the call-in section of the show, yeah. and I was still putting Shoops in because <laughs> there was such an awesome turnout. Oh it was like God. 14 Shoops that, that were just for the, the, the Shoop 100 contest, and they were I, I, was, I was cracking up, man. They are hilarious. Yeah, and, uh, and also so Shoop 100, there's nothing left for us by... Numb nuts. Numb I gotta nuts. say that was that was pretty good. The, that was uh, very good. The uh, I, man, the dildo, the dildo. I knew the second I held a dildo up to my face in a skit, I was just like, "That's it, done. That's Over it. With. It's gonna be the next like fifty shoops is gonna be me going." <laughs> <laughs> Because otherwise, yeah, because I mean, that's the whole thing. It's just like you could not actually draw that because it was already there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. each week you'd like to feature the new people on the show, send in videos with questions, funny stories, or whatever. Hell yeah, you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480 or send your files to feedback at noobtube.com. Also be sure to post them as video responses on YouTube. Yes, and please keep all videos under a minute if you want to be featured on the show. And also say where you're from, not from YouTube or the forums. Right, like, we yeah, always yeah. want to hear like about to know where you state live. or something like that. Um, yeah. So first up is Lucian, and don't forget the owl. So first up is Lucian the Chance. Hmm. Yo, what up? It's Lucian, repping Shaolin, motherfucker! Anyway, uh, Tim Schafer is doing downloadable games now. I was wondering if you think this is a step down for him, or if he's finally found his niche where he could actually make money. Thanks, and yeah! <laughs> I'm not going to back. Damn you, economy! <laughs> oh, poor guy, that man. That sucks, man. Like, I, I know uh, that the, the truth was that he was very scared that we were going to shave his eyebrows instead yeah, of... Yeah, because uh, it was on the list of stuff was, we're going to do. Might now have to cross it out. we would be like, can't do Lucian's <sighs> eyebrows. Do shave Yuzo's no, eyebrows. No, 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 no. <laughs> shave Somebody one else. of Yuzo's no. eyebrows. <laughs> Good thing we're not sharing a hotel room this time. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, I don't know if he's... Re- has he released any details about what the games are going to be like? Or has he yes, just said, I'm so there's three on. games, okay. is my understanding. Uh, so the way it works is that he's saying, like, okay, I have Double Fire, we made this game, now I have, like, three talented individuals yeah. who want to make their own game. However, we're going to make smaller games because the risk is less and we might actually make money this time. Nice. Uh, so I think one, I think this... So the, But the thing I'm worried about is, like, it's not Tim Schafer making them. He's going around to all three and helping out here and there. I mean, with he'll have a creative stuff. input, right? I mean, I'm but assuming that he... Did he in Brutal Legend, right? Right? That's my worry is that he's going to add a bit of himself yeah. to each one, but it's not going to be enough to me be like, this is a Tim Schafer game. It's yeah. not, right? That's true. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to say what's a Tim Schafer game now, right? I mean, like, he <sighs> Psychonauts was... Psychonauts was Tim Schafer. Tim Schafer, I'm saying, but now yeah. it's just like he was the absolute... I mean, he had 100% sign-off on Brutal Legend. That was his game, right? 
And it's yeah. just like that game sucked. I know. So I'm hoping that you know he kind of pulls a Ron Gilbert and he reaches back into his bag of like what's awesome and does some cool shit. And does it on a smaller scale because maybe that was it. Maybe Brutal Legend, like three years, all that shit with Activision that took yeah. all – actually, that was a big part of it too is like – when he had to spend all that time with a lawsuit, like he actually had to spend that away from the game, and maybe that's part of the why the game suffered. Right? It could be. I mean, they're like you um, know, they're like, oh, we're looking for a mechanic, you know, like we're gonna we're gonna make this RTS. Something. He's like, yeah, throw in a little bit of RTS. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> a little bit. Right? A little bit. And he comes back after like going being in court for like three weeks, and he's like, what the fuck? What did you guys do? <laughs> now I gotta go sell this. And so, say I meant to do it, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is it's Tim Schafer, so, you know, any game that comes out, like, even though he, he betrayed us, I still, you know, I, whatever. He's, he's, still the he's given me so much pleasure throughout my life that, you know, you, you fuck, you, you know, whatever. Everybody's got a bad day. Uh, bad bad three years. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my my thing is like I'm not going to buy this at launch. I'll still try the trial. Yes, when absolutely. it comes out, and that's um, the cool thing. They'll be downloadable, so we can right. definitely get the trials. Yeah. Uh, but I definitely don't think that it, it's like a step down. Like he was, you know, Lucy was asking, like, is it a step down? Downloadable is the new. Like, I mean, I think that that's a good way for you to just get an idea. It's like imagine yeah. like short stories in science fiction. Yeah. Good authors still write short stories because they've got this idea, and they don't want to spend three years developing everything around. They're like, check this out. I thought of this thing, and like we can make it in a couple months, and you know, here's my thing. But can you make a lot of money at it? I mean, that's the big problem. You look at like all the hits. Like, there, if you look online, you can see all of the sales numbers for all yeah. the things. And like, Castle Crashers sold, I think, like six hundred thousand copies or a million copies, like if yeah. that. But you're not multi millions like that, right? But it also doesn't take a hundred people to make it. So and I mean, that's maybe, true. Maybe it pays off. Maybe overall, know. right? Maybe they just don't go for the hits because yeah. they're just not. In that level anymore, right? right? Yeah, it's I mean that's that's the thing is, is it's probably not going to be like you know Call of Duty retirement fuck you money, but there's not 400 people relying on it. There's like eight interns and Tim Schafer. Yeah, so. and and anything that gives him money, considering all the goodwill he has, like he did not ruin it with Brutal Legend. No. He's damaged it a little bit. Yeah, right. So. You it's like you know it. you take an ugly girl, you put her or you put, put a hot girl in ugly clothes. You're like you look pretty ugly right now. Put on something better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go back to the closet. Like, I know yeah, that underneath <laughs> that, that sack is a banging body. That's right. Or just learn a few new tricks in bed. Whatever. Yeah, right? just, you know, work the butt a little work bit. The- you know, do, the, do, do, do some the, stuff. Yeah. You'll do figure it out. Nasty stuff. So, <laughs> next up is Half Life 3, please. Whoops. There we go. Hey, this is Half Life 3, please. Uh, and that's Half Life 3, please, with a PH. Uh, I'm just calling to tell y'all I can't thank y'all enough for recommending Death Spank. I fucking love this game. It is so hilarious. And if you would have never mentioned Psychonauts, I would not have fucking been the game right in today. That game is the shit. I fucking love it. And I thank y'all so much for giving us so many good uh, game idea, uh, game ideas and stuff we should play. Thank y'all so much. And if you lose the weight, I'll lose the hair. Yow. He's not one of those guys that has thrown. Did his, he throw his hair in there? He threw his hair into the the uh, the pile of things that we have to do. To, to you know, we know what we need to do. We need to get people everywhere that's going to donate their hair to make a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> Out of it. Yeah, how do you guys like that cap, man? So at my old job, I used to work at Sun Microsystems, yeah. and I was the only guy on my team that didn't have long hair. So when I oh, quit, yeah, you're right. when I quit, they gave me that hat with the ponytail. <laughs> that was my going away gift. And every time I put it on, like the, you know, like I'll be dating girls or whatever, and I put them like, check out this hat. They're like, take that the fuck off right now, <laughs> dude. You look wrong. I look creepy as yeah. shit. Like I look like I should be in the in a wife beater. You know, Did you kinda, ever have long hair? Or you're always a short uh, guy. I had I had like the '90s long hair, like you know, down to oh, the, your bob, chin, like the, the the bob, the bob, like the, the floppy. The, yeah, the, I had the Kurt bob. Cobain hair. <laughs> okay, let's say, but I've never had the I never had the Yuzo. Dude, yeah, I had, my hair was down to here. At this it worked point, for you. I mean, like you didn't. Look, I, I mean, I look like a goddamn yeah, yeah. child molester with that yeah. hair. You look like a weird ninja, <laughs> kind of scary, like a rocker, I'm like a rocker. That. That's right. Um, um, but yeah, so what are we talking about? <laughs> Psychonauts. Psychonauts. So, so right now, Psychonauts you can get on. Um, you can buy it as a ten dollar game, I believe, on Xbox. Yeah. Right on yeah. Xbox Live. That's right. Uh, you can also get it for free on Good. Can you that's true. Remember Maybe you, was that a special? I don't know if it was special, it but what was the, what was the site name? Uh, good old games. Good, uh, no, it was the other one. I thought Game Tap. Game Tap. I think oh, it was on yeah. Game Tap. If you just go to, I think you can actually pay it for free. Still, I think, mm. and it might even be Steam on Steam at this point. Point is, that game is out there everywhere and cheap. Get Psychonauts. Get it on some platform if you haven't played it. Play Death Spank. It is also awesome. So I mean, oh, yeah. you know, these whatever these are good games, and you're welcome. Yes. Um, oh, he said Death Spank. I thought he said Death Spank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this game's hilarious. I'm like. 
What did no, you find money? Okay, what about you kid? picking that up? You know what? This eleven percent beer is it's, is knocking us the fuck it's out. It's fucking we're just, me we're all up. Fucking loopy yeah, over here. Sorry about that. So, so uh, next up is uh, Monkey in a Man Suit. Hmm. Hey, Tobin Nizo, this is uh, Monkey in a Man Suit from YouTube, and I was just wondering if you guys have seen the new Bioshock trailer. It's called Bioshock Infinite, and it seems to be not a prequel, but it's in like the late 1800s, and it's set in America. Just want to know what you guys think, so yow. Yeah, so I saw the trailer for that, and it I blew my pants. Like, well, actually, I had the exact same feeling that I saw when I saw the original Bioshock trailer. Yes, it was just like holy shit. Yes, it, it is. It's one of those things where you, in 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 the course of a minute and a half, you like. This is it. They have a vision fully formed. Yep. They have developed an alternate reality in in which the, the in the in the early twentieth century America has become this kind of like uh, you know like we, so I we, couldn't figure that out from the trailer. Did you get this from somewhere else? <laughs> so I so I, I read I read an interview. Oh, okay, and, gotcha, gotcha. And, and so the, what's the idea so, about it? So the, the the idea is back uh you know back about a hundred years ago, America mm-hmm. started to get this idea in their head. Like the presidents and some of our Congress had this yeah. idea where they said you know we. Uh, are the shining light of the world. We are we are th- the the bringers of democracy. We're mm-hmm. the bringers of Christianity. We're the bringers of of these of of huh. the way to live. And they started going out, and you know they would show up in other countries, and they would save them from a dictator, and move in, and kind of put in their own dictators. And it was so is this like we, does this have anything to do with like the Philippines or yeah, like, like those, Guam? Yeah, exactly. And, like, like, like we would kind okay. of move in. And, I, like I knew nothing about pre eighteen hundreds history. Cause... My my history back then is is kind of weak. Okay, I mean, I'd, I've I've read I've read kind of quotes from that yeah. where they would go in, and it's just it's hilarious to go back and read this where they're like, <laughs> yeah. well, it's clear that these savages don't know how to run their own country, so <laughs> we need true. to go in and do it. So it's huh. this alternate history where America kept developing and then they said you know the way we're going to bring democracy to the world is build a floating America in the sky this is a city of the future and it's going to go around and we're going to go from country to country and probably Whoa. stomp on people a little bit and yeah. show them that they need to live like us and then I guess and I guess like something kind of, happened yeah, something to happens. it of course yeah. right because yeah. it's like what happened to you know the utopia and I there. cannot fucking wait to hear what happened because the stories that they tell yeah. in these Bioshock worlds are so good I mean, like, even, like, you gotta give it, give them credit, too. It's like, even Bioshock 2, which wasn't really had anything to do with, like, any of the, the original team. Right. They still were able to, t- to take that world and tell some compelling stories. Oh, yeah. I mean, all right? the stuff that Andrew Ryan had built, all the back, back oh, yeah. the, with that kind of subversive woman that had been fighting him. And- yeah, and it was a compelling story. And, like, I followed it all the way through. Like, well, this is a brand new story. My mind's blown. Yeah. You know they're going to introduce a lot more interesting, innovative, random I don't know if they even have plasmids at this point, right? Like, yeah. Who knows what they'll do? It's going to be plasmid-ish. <laughs> course, yeah. But there's this yeah. weird thing where you travel with a girl, and the girl has some sort of magical powers or special uh-huh. powers. But uh, it's weird because apparently as you use her powers, mm-hmm. she starts to get like changed by it. She starts to get like weaker and more sick oh, and wh- fucked up. God damn, I need to read this. this I need to send you this article because yeah, like, 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 I was reading I'm like, I want to play this right now. Because all I did was see this thing. And it was just like, whoa, like he's flying. He's yeah. going through different levels. Levitation. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm playing this I'll game. Send you, I'll send you the okay. Good. So, this is amazing. Uh, yes, bring this. it right the fuck now. Uh, and then the last one is K Dubs. Hello, Tobin and Yuzo. This is K Dubs from the forums. Um, I just want to know what your thoughts are on uh, Ratchet and Clank All for One. Um, now, sorry if I mess up my words a little bit. I just had my wisdom teeth pulled and my mouth is puffy and I'm taking drugs, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of sketchy on this game right now. Like, I don't know how multiplayer is really going to work in a Ratchet and Clank game. Um, it says it's going to have like four player puzzles. The players can choose between Dr. Nefarious, Ratchet Clank, or Captain Quark. I mean, it could be fun, but I don't picture Ratchet and Clank really being a four player game. I just kind of like the single player. That's, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, though. Um, I want to know what your thoughts are on the game. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, congratulations on episode 200 coming up very, very soon. And I uh, wish you guys all the best. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, this, this, is, this is by Insomniac. Yes. So I have this level of trust already where it's just uh, like... Unless it's Resistance 1. <laughs> unless it's Resistance 1. It's not a first-person shooter. Yeah. yeah. So... I, I've I've seen the gameplay footage. Yeah. And it, I mean, it looks beautiful. It looks like a Ratchet and Clank. And the thing is, is if they do some of the puzzly stuff like they had from the last one, where yeah. you know, like maybe you've got uh, the the platforms where you have to like you know go back and forth in time or do yeah, whatever. I'm sure, they'll add all that stuff. Yeah. But like to me, it's just like I'm a little worried because like with the last Ratchet, they added all that time stuff. It's like 
it, for me, it wasn't as good as the last Ratchet before that. It was kind of a dip. Yeah, quality, it was a little right? bit of a dip. Even, like, even you being I a Ratchet did. fanboy, yeah. do you even finish it? I don't even think you finished it. Which I, is it's like, actually, holy it's shit. It's actually the first Ratchet game I never finished. It's so, out of the entire series. And the yeah. thing is, is I loved, I loved, loved, loved all the, the Clank yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I liked all the, the stuff with the puzzles and the yeah, timing. Like, it was that cool. was cool. The space stuff was kind of garbage. Kind of lame. And a lot of the little mini Mario worlds were kind of. They tried to do Super Mario Galaxy, they and they didn't do a very good job at it. Right. And that so, to me, and like when I got to the space, that's where my momentum, like just yeah, ooh. just like ah, and like because then you'd get back to the main worlds and you'd get a fully formed level in exactly. the game. You're like oh, this is cool, but then there's a lot of they just, don't do a wasn't... good. And that's the thing you had some similar complaints to the uh, downloadable title member. Yes. With like. I don't think Insomniac is necessarily very good at bite-sized experiences. They're good no. at they're good at creating themes, right, right? all the way across a, yeah. a level. So we'll see. I mean, I, I, I <sighs> Dude, really hope uh, they do this right because from what I've seen in the footage, it's like all four guys running around and there's like this guy pushes a button and this yeah. other guy's able to get to this thing. So I mean, if it's really like just very very interactive where everybody's yeah. having to cooperate and everybody's having mm-hmm. to do these things and fighting and stuff, I think it could be really cool. Dude, here's my fear about it is like whenever they take a game and make it two player, four player, whatever, like Castlevania, like any of the other ones, it's like they don't pay attention to the single player component. And more often than not, we play after midnight a lot of times. Yeah. Specific, nobody else is online. That's true, right? So like we always tend to play the single player versions of the things, and they're not as good. So I I predict, yeah, that it might not be as fun. You're not going to like it. So what I'm hoping, thumbs down, but, you know. but what I'm hoping is what they'll do is that if it's four person co op, that if you play, there's three other bots, and then if you play with your friends, a person can swap in for a bot. Yeah, but would you want to? That's the thing. So you're playing at midnight with nobody else on your friends list, and you're playing with bots the entire way all the way through, right? I'm just saying that that'd be better than than if there if if there's just a lot of stuff unavailable because you're you but know, like, like one person versions of puzzles. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I don't even know how they would do that. That's like, true, because there's, there's buttons where you have to stay on the button. Yeah. And, okay, so there's going to have to you're, be bots. You're playing with a bot. There has like, to be bots. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Or they just like have a totally different level, which would be weird. Right? Yeah, so, or you have to play with multiple people. But do you see what I mean? Like, yeah, if you're looking I know. At, like, I'm making a game. Me. Yes. I'm really You worried. have to play with me. We need two more Put people. Put the baby down. <laughs> no, hopefully Hans will be old enough to also play, and then we need one more person. Okay, that's it. I'm so, going to go have a kid. Okay, go. <laughs> or borrow a kid. I'm going to go borrow somebody's kid that's going to get arrested. That's right. Okay, I think that would be it. That's it. That's it for the show. Uh, check out our website at noobtube.com and participate in the forums by clicking the community tab at the top of the front page. Yes, if you watch the video on YouTube, make sure you click on the subscription button over Tobin's head. Everything's on Tobin's head and then Tobin's junk. If you would please press like on it. That's right. That would be much appreciated. Tapity tapity tap. Tap. That's our this episode. I am Yuzo Watanabe. And I am Tobin Kuzai. Our audio engineering for NoobTube is done by range... Something. <laughs> <laughs> My range drunk as a skunk strunk. How about that? Biatch. I like it. it Thanks rhymes. for listening. We'll see you all next week. We're out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Camera's all over the place. Oh, I'm kind of getting sick. Was. <laughs> Bitch. You are an art snob. This... This is ridiculous. I, what, where you would play this game. Where's your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and All right, here we go. All right, go, go, ahead. go shoot. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I shouldn't say bang. <laughs> I'm going to edit in the bangs. <laughs>